take your children to the street and start begging so that you can pay the fees to their uh, schooling. This is exact line. What my own relatives told my mother. So here I am with more than around 5 lakh followers on Instagram and 2 lakh followers on subscribers on my YouTube. Uh, a content creator, doctor by profession, singer by passion. And so I'm also debuting in a movie soon. I have my own production house. Well, hello, I'm Dr. Niranjan Samani, doctor by profession, singer by passion and content creator as well. So like anyone else, uh, I'm from a middle class family here. And um, there, of course, like in the middle class, there is a lot, lot of uh, financial crisis happening and all that thing. So my dad, my father had to face some financial crisis. So you know, he, he had to pay some debts and all that. For that reason, he was staying away from home. So my entire childhood, maybe from first standard to the seventh standard, my mom was taking care of it. So my mom is a housewife, so there is no income as such where she can literally take care of me. And it's not that her family is also from a very poor background. They're pretty much well occupied and very much settled. And um, still, there was a time when uh, maybe I still remember fourth or fifth standard where she literally fell shortage of certain amount to pay my schooling fees. So she had to ask certain relatives of mine, which I don't want to mention out here. So this is exactly what they told me. Take your children to the streets so that you can beg and uh, pay their schooling fees, which was really very sad because uh, they had to tell it on the face and right in front of me. And I could see the tears really rolling out, you know, and uh, still the other way she took was that she had to sell her Mangal Sutra and uh, pay my fees so that I can complete my schooling at least because that's one thing she saw that education is something is a basic asset, which I can own. That's my foundation. No one can steal that from me. May that we don't have money, may that we don't have anything else, but education is something that she has provided me and I'm eternally grateful for that. So anything or everything that I have become in life today, a doctor maybe or a content creator, or anything, uh, social media, off social media, I owe everything to my mother. So yeah, um, I was pretty much well in studies and everything. I did my schooling well. I got into MBBS, I became a doctor. And that was a fitting reply to the people, though my own relatives, a tight slap on their face telling that, yes, it was possible thanks to my mother. Because she didn't lose hope, she didn't give up. She tried her best, she gave her all and uh, I am here uh, being a doctor. And I'm a first doctor for my family. So they started a trend later on that everyone after me started taking up MBBS. It was very hard for them. They didn't get through, but still they wanted to become a doctor just because I became one. So I think I just proved uh, them all wrong and made my mom very much proud, my dad as well. Um, so I'm an introvert by nature. I'm a huge introvert, it's very hard now. I'm absolutely interacting here. I'm having a Josh talk here and it's pretty much awesome, right? But it wasn't happening many years back. Very, very great introvert, not able to start a communication, interact with people. It was very hard for me. And I had a huge passion, huge, huge passion for singing and uh, acting as well. I really wanted to act in movies. I really wanted to sing as well. But definitely for acting, you know, you need to get rid of your uh, comfort zone. You need to come out of your comfort zone and then you know, present yourself. Well, that was not happening with me. So till MBBS, till I finished my final year of my MBBS, I was, in not, I was not into any social media, maybe Instagram or YouTube. I was into nothing. So I was absolutely no one other than Dr. Niranjan Samani, known by few people here and there. I think basically telling no one knew me. I was an introvert. I was not interacting with anyone. So I thought like it's time that I get out of my comfort zone somehow, somehow. I don't know. I really didn't know how, but I was like thinking over and over like, how do I do it? How do I do it? Then I thought like, okay, maybe social media is something that I can literally tap into. So I just got my phone. I went to my room. There's just four walls. I just kept the uh, video cam and I started singing them. I'm a singer by passion, not a trained singer. I sing to a certain extent, which is really audible. So I started thinking and uh, there, was a, there were a lot of negative comments, literally negative comments pouring in from everyone. Even the people I don't know, they're commenting, they're like, why are you doing this? What's this horrible? I agree, it was not that great, but still I had to start somewhere. My own colleagues started uh, making fun of me, uh, saying that, uh, like, why are you doing all this and stuff like that. Then, um, yes, there was a time that I was demotivated. I was thinking like, just quit everything. Let me just go back to what my profession is. That's pretty much, uh, let's not get into content creation. This is not my cup of tea. And uh, I was about to delete. And there was one comment in the song where everyone criticized. That was my own best friend. So he told me that uh, you are absolutely a singing great dude. I think that one comment actually kept me there in the social media platform and kept me throughout as well. So I started YouTube channel. When I started my YouTube channel, of course, uh, anyone starts uh, any channel, they start telling their friends, Ki, Aisa, kuch hai yaar. like we have started a, uh, channel, kindly subscribe, hit the bell button and all that, things like that. So I used to do the same thing. I used to ask my friends, I used to ask my relatives. Relatives, 
so i have no hopes but still i as to ask my friends so what they used to do is they used to make fun of me my own medical fraternity friends uh they used to make fun of me telling that see being a doctor it's stick to your profession don't do anything else it's just patient hospital and home that's pretty much there's nothing else you need to do so this is what they used to tell me and i'm like no i want to do something else i literally i have my passion i just don't want that to die so what they should just to insult me they should take me to a uh, canteen or maybe uh, the security guy or anyone like that and they should tell me like hey, just subscribe his channel no just subscribe his channel no like in a mocking manner so it is to i should feel very bad like uh, they shouldn't be doing all that but still it's okay happens for to do this such is life so it went on went on and uh, i finished my mbbs i finished my internship as well i got out of the college i think that was a beautiful thing that happened yeah i got out of the college i was in my own comfort zone i got i got hold of i uh, got hold of two other friends of mine my own teammates uh, loyal and uh, supporting and everything our ideas matched and uh, they were into acting i mean i was i wanted to get into acting and content creation so we matched we started making contents and boom uh, my youtube just blew up and uh, i got the slow play button so i just went back to my friends who mocked me back then uh, telling the people to subscribe you know in a mocking way went back to them showed them my uh, um, slow play button i got two slow play button by the way um, i think the third person in youtube uh, history to get three uh, two slow play buttons so that is one thing and then uh, again being an introvert i wanted to get out of that get out of that comfort zone so i started making videos on medical content so i started uh, giving home remedies to the people out there telling the easy hacks what they can do at home it is not necessary every time you load yourself with so many of medicines you know every single time one headache you just take a dolo not necessary okay trust in your body to a certain extent because your body is built in a beautiful manner god has literally designed your body in a very beautiful manner that it can self heal okay you need not do this every time putting in drugs or medicines in, into your system so this is what i wanted to convey people in a very entertaining manner i used to dance i used to sing in my videos i used to make content creations maybe headache or skin care health care people connected well people connected really well and uh, there was audience coming in all throughout the country you know delhi punjab rajasthan karnataka everywhere there were people pouring in so that was again a tight slap on my friends to prove them wrong that yes i can do it i can come out of my comfort zone you no need to mock me maybe the mock what they did was just a driving force uh, it was something like a boost that i needed and it really helped me a lot so here i am dr niranjan samani with more than around 5 lakh followers on instagram and 2 lakh followers on subscribers on youtube uh, a content creator doctor by profession singer by passion and so i'm also debuting in a movie soon i have my own production house i'm also launching my new merchandise i'm an entrepreneur now there's so many things coming up so many things thanks to two loyal friends two loyal teammates who are more than family to me and thanks to my mother completely eternally grateful to her thanks to that one time she never let me down and uh, you know gave me that one strength ki hota hai you can do it you can definitely do it and here i am this is all to her and i would in the end thank josh talks for giving me this platform this amazing platform and uh, to tell the audience out there i'm very sure there is one person uh, sitting there watching this video and thinking hey, what can i do he's an introvert he's also having a lot of mockeries a lot of jokes going around i'm definitely seeing this trust me dude you just got it don't worry just a matter of time success is definitely going to come you don't have to worry about that all over the mockery and the jokes that is happening those are just the fuels okay just burn it and you can definitely get it. if i am able to do it anyone in the planet can do it definitely anyone in the planet can do it i didn't come from any family um, you know that uh, background where they had uh, everything you know silver spoon and all that things pure fuel uh, pure merit that's it so if i am doing if i am able to do it you can definitely do it so i want to end my speech here and thank so much josh talk for this wonderful platform i'm uh, eternally grateful as well so that uh, i just want to tell my mom i love you so much and this is for you अगर आप इस स्टॉक के एंड तक पहुंच चुके हैं तो मैं आपको जोश स्टॉक्स का एक दूसरा रूप भी दिखाना चाहता हूं जिससे मैं काफ़ी देर से जुड़ा हुआ हूं और मुझे बहुत बहुत ज़्यादा पसंद है कि वो क्या कर रहे हैं जोश स्टॉक्स ने एक नया ऐप लॉन्च किया है जिसका नाम है जोश स्किल्स अब वो नया नहीं रहा काफ़ी टाइम से है लाखों लोग उसको अब यूज़ करते हैं और जोश स्किल्स पर आप अपनी ज़िंदगी के लिए कोर्सेज ढूंढ सकते हैं वो कोर्स नहीं जो आपको फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री कॉमर्स बिजनेस स्टडीज पढ़ाएंगे वो कोर्सेज जो आपकी जिंदगी में आपको कैसे जीना चाहिए वो सिखाएंगे मैंने खुद जो स्किल्स पे बहुत सारे कोर्सेज बनाए हैं 
पब्लिक स्पीकिंग पे इमोशनल क्राइसिस कैसे हैंडल किया जाए अपनी पर्सनालिटी कैसे डेवलप की जाए हर एक कोर्स में डेली क्विजेज हैं एक्सरसाइजेज हैं एक बहुत ही खूबसूरत कम्युनिटी है जो आपको सपोर्ट करेगी आपको इंकरेज करेगी आज ही डाउनलोड करें जो स्किल्स का ऐप और उनके कोर्सेज एक्सप्लोर करके अपनी जिंदगी को आगे बढ़ाए Josh Talks is now a Spotify exclusive podcast. The audio version of our talks will be available only on Spotify. If you like this video and you like to listen to more inspiring stories like this, please follow the Josh Talks podcast only on Spotify. Tell us what you think about this video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.